Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can maintain the filament in your home when you're doing 3D printing. And we're gonna talk about filament that has become brittle. Uh, so for example, this little piece of filament right here broke off really easy, it just snapped off. And that's because it has too much moisture. So if you have filament that is clogging, filament that's become very stringy, uh, filament that as you're printing, the actual prints themselves become flaky, right? They, they don't really have a lot of structure to them uh, when it comes to you know, them being solid, right? Despite the infill that you put in. Then you have a moisture problem with your filament. And today we're gonna look at, and what in my opinion is, one of the best new filament dehydration solutions on the market. Uh, we're talking about the Sunlu. This is the Sunlu S2, and this is going to keep your filament dry, regardless of the type, and it's super easy to set up. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, before we take a closer look at the Sunlu S2 filament dryer, let's talk about some of the specs and the features why this, in my opinion, is one of the most easy to use and flexible uh, filament dryers on the market today. First of all, one of the things I really love about it from a feature perspective is that it comes with preset feature settings for PLA, PTG, TPU, ABS, PVA, PA, PC, and if the type of filament you're working with isn't on that list, you can go ahead and configure it to meet your specific filament parameters when it comes to heat so that you can dry out that filament. Now, in addition to that, as you saw, it has a 6.4 screen, LCD screen, that's gonna tell you so much information about your filament drying process. And you're gonna see all the details because it's gonna cover the actual time, the humidity of the filament, all this other stuff that's going on, or actually the moisture of the filament rather. So you get a lot of detail in that. You also have the ability to support multiple filament types, 1.75 millimeters to 2.88. And this is important because uh, when you think about the diameter of the filament, Many cases when you're running a print, you may want to keep your filament in the filament dryer as you're printing. So if you have some moisture problems and maybe you go ahead and dry the filament for an hour or two, you can actually allow the filament to continue to dry as it's feeding your printer because it has a little hole where it actually feeds it out so that you can print as you dry. Now, from a temperature perspective, you can go anywhere from 35C all the way up to 70C. That's how much you can heat this thing up to really dry out that filament. You also then have this LED light uh, that you saw, that circle that you saw there, that gives you a cool effect. It kind of lets you know that things are running, right? And then uh, give you a sense when you are using this, because of the preset settings, for example, if you're gonna dry out PLA, all you do is you select the setting on the screen and it will automatically go to 50C for six hours. It's that easy, it's super duper simple, and again, you can, you can print and dry at the same time. So let's take a closer look. Now turning on the filament dryer is super easy. Watch how it takes. All you're gonna do is double click here, and put it twice, and you're gonna be able to just load up uh, or turn it on. You'll notice how it's already now displaying everything and you can see how that LED is just popping out. Now a couple things that you're gonna wanna do here is first of all, you wanna choose the material type that you're working with and it's gonna automatically have pre-selected the temperature and the duration for you. So I'm gonna use the set button to move from section to section. Each section is talking about the temperature as well as the relative humidity inside of the case. So I'm gonna hit set and I'm gonna hit set again and I'm gonna skip these areas until I get to material. Now in the material area, right now it's, it's set to TPU. I'm gonna hit the down and you notice I switched to PETG and this temperature changed. Do it again, PLA, it changed, and it changed, right? So as you switch to each one of the settings, the system is gonna automatically recommend what the setting uh, for the filament should be for drying. Now you can make an adjustment too. You can actually go into that area and you can hit set and, and again, set it to what you would like. But I like the fact that you can just go ahead and make those changes, right? So if I, for example, um, continue to go down this path and what we're gonna do is, let's go back, we're gonna leave it at the same temperature go back to PA, I'm gonna switch mine to PLA. All right, so I got it to PLA, and then I'm gonna hit set, and then here I'm gonna change the LED, so watch what happens. So that's the off, on, and so now it says it's running, and you can just have it as on. I prefer the running one, right? And that's pretty much all there's to it. Now what you would do is you would take your filament, put it in the filament dryer, right, and then close it and then just let it run for the duration of the process. So if it's five hours, six hours, you can let it run. Now what I typically do is, if I'm working in large prints, I'll run the dryer first before I run, 
um, and then uh, with another roll on the machine. Or what I'll do is before I do my run, I'll put some filament in the dryer for at least an hour. And then what I'll do is I'll feed it through this little feeding tube right here and then I'll connect it to my printer. Uh, and then I'll main keep it in here as it's working, it's also drying out all of the filament. And you, well, let's face it, because the heat is coming from all areas, basically what it's gonna do, it's going to first dry what's on the outside first, and then it's gonna work its way towards the inside. So that's why you'll benefit from running this as it prints. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Sunloo filament dryer. This is the S2. One of the easiest, and I think one of the warmest filament dryers that we reviewed on the channel. See you in the next video.